Hello everyone, my name is Al, and welcome back to another professional match of StarCraft 2. Spawning in the top left corner, our red Terran player for this one, his name is Bunny. And in the opposite corner, our blue Zerg, coming from Italy, we have Raynor. So we have Raynor versus Bunny. Bunny from South Korea and Raynor from Italy, obviously. Now, these two players are very, very good. Um, Bunny, I think, has been a little bit underrated um, from South Korea. And I think that's kind of because you look at the likes of Maru. Um, you know, when you think about Terran from South Korea. But Bunny is actually a really strong player. And he's been having some good tournament runs lately. Um, this map that we're on is Stargazers. Now, if you have a look at this map, it's... Um, it's a little bit different than we're used to. The players are not spawning in opposite corners, but one in the top left and one in the top right. Um, there is a gold based bride at the bottom there, and yeah, via air, it's quite close. There you can see some minerals at the top. You can clear that and have a, a way into your little pocket base. It's like a half pocket base. Because initially you can take it quite easily, um, but as the match continues, you can just mine that out and then you've got a way to get in or the opponent has a way to get in. As for this game, we've got a standard reaper opening coming up from Bunny and a pull first into a hatchery um, for Raynor. I believe it was pull first. The SCV coming across to have a look. Raynor sending a drone down to the third base already. He wants to get that one saturated. Four Zerglings coming up. They're going to be used to just bump the Reaper away. Um, here's the Reaper coming across, says hi to the SV, gives him a high five. Uh, we don't expect too much damage to get be, to be done by him, rather. Um, he's just going to test the waters, maybe pick off a Zergling, maybe pick off a drone. But Reynolds Micro is pretty good, pulling away the weakened Zerglings. He should not be losing anything. And uh, he's just trying to buy time until the queen comes out. Ooh! Bunny gets a Zergling. There's the queen. She's gonna say, off you go, Reaper. Nothing too major. So it, it's really not a big issue if one Zergling gets killed. It's It often doesn't happen because these players are, are pretty good at handling their units. Um, now, if this had to happen in one of my games, I, I would have lost probably half my mineral line. Yeah. These guys are really good. Anyway, we have a factory with the reactor on, so Bunny's gonna be pushing out two of those Hellions at a time, just to keep my uh, map presence, spread the creep away, maybe run in a little bit, see if they can get damage. Queen coming over to shoot this Reaper. That Reaper knows it's not gonna destroy the hatchery. That's just Bunny being a little bit annoying. Okay, this double Queen at the front now, so, Nothing too major. Ooh. Explodes, throws a grenade at the key uh, uh, at the queens, and uh, nothing major happens. Now, as you can see, Bunny there in the top left corner, he's already taking a third command center, which he is gonna put at that little semi pocket base. Um, there's a couple of Hellions to join the Reaper. There again, just gonna go around a little bit, try to stop some creep, try to get a little bit of damage done. Ooh, running into a little bit of problems there. Bunny losing one Reaper, uh, one Hellion, excuse me. Banshee with Cloak coming up. Reyna has a lot of Queens. Um, the only thing is he's going to need to think of, ooh, gets a Creep Tumor. He's gonna need to think of um, vision uh, detectors in order to uh, see those Banshees when they are invisible. Stops another Creep Tumor. Bunny being very annoying here, just trying to stop that creep spread. And with a player like Reyna, you really have to, because if you don't, within the first couple of minutes of this game, the creep could be on your doorstep. These players have gotten so good at spreading their creep. Um, and yeah, that it's a strong mechanic for Zerg, I'm not gonna lie, it is a very strong mechanic. It means it's a lot to do, but it is a good mechanic for them. They also need it. Alright, so the third CC is up. SCVs are starting to mine on this side. The work accounts are looking quite healthy for both players. Uh, and you can see the speed of these players. If you look at their APM, they are 
so fast. Uh, I think especially Reina. Reina is probably one of the quickest players at the moment. Um, just able to do so many things and multitask in so many different ways. And you can even see it with the queens. These are not all the queens. He splits his queens up. Um, ooh, there's the double banshee coming in. Um, there's a couple of small crawlers coming in. And they're just going to be very annoying. Taking out a queen. Queen's desperately trying to transfuse. Trying to stay alive. They are running for the kills. Um, is there detection on this side? Yes, there is. And... Oh, Reyna actually keeps all his queens alive. Uh, apart from the one, of course. Cloak running out for one of the Banshees, so he's gonna have to be careful with that one. And here yeah, come the queens, they're ready to dive on it. Yep, doing a little bit of damage. Reyna sending three to the low ground, three to the high ground to try to defend against this. There is a spore crawler in the main base, so that's gonna help to just chew these Banshees away. Bunny shouldn't be losing them. Um, those are valuable units, quite gas heavy. You want to keep them alive, want to keep poking in with them. Um, yeah, that one is uh, less than half health, so he's got to be a little bit careful. Maybe he'll go back and repair a little bit. And um, yeah, so far the player's just macroing up a little bit more. Rainer going for that Baneling Nest. Um, plus one, plus one upgrades, plus one uh, melee upgrades for Rainer. Bunny doing the same on his side, he's got the armory coming up, so I think uh, straight after plus one, plus one, he's going to go into plus two. Baneling speed coming up, the Hellions and Reaper coming in to be annoying again. Zerglings trying to get a wraparound. They do on the Reaper, so the Reaper gets taken out, almost on the Hellions. Meanwhile, we have a double Marine drop, double Medivac drop here, with Marines into that little pocket base. Um, Rainer should be okay. He'll see it now as they come on to creep the stim. And let's see what they can get done. Zerglings are trying to catch him. Yeah, nothing too major. Bunny gets out all of his marines except for one. And he drops him down. He's just going to try to be annoying with him on this side. But Rainer's defense should be good. We see the spire over there coming up. And the... Oops. Uh, not whichever. We're not playing up against Protoss. The, um, Overseer. Those Banshees just carrying on. The Overseer now with the Queens. So that uh, Reyna can hopefully deal with that Banshee. Bunch of Banelings coming in here. He's just waiting for that uh, Baneling speed upgrade. Meanwhile, Bunny just coming in. Trying to push away a little bit of the creep. Getting rid of an Overlord. That's not a bad pick-off. Carrying on getting creep. Oh, he's doing a good job with these Marines. Pushing it back nicely. He's got another set of marines coming up to reinforce a bunch of tanks on the high ground that's good positioning We're gonna make it difficult for reyna to engage he's setting his tanks up on that high ground one pushing a little bit forward and he just takes a couple of mean marines forward just to put a little bit of pressure Ooh, be careful pulls out there safely meanwhile the banshee's coming in again to be a little bit more annoying um, Reyna at the same time, he's gone for the gold base at the bottom. I don't know if Bunny's seen this, but if he hasn't, he might want to keep an eye on that. That could become quite dangerous. Banshee's still roaming the map. There are spore crawlers in the main, in the bases, so Reyna should be okay. Ooh, those tanks are going to enjoy shelling out those, at those zerglings and banelings. Bunny is pushing very deep onto the creep now, but only with a small portion of his force. Just a couple, he pulls back, there comes the tank fire. We have a bunch of mutas roaming down at the bottom. Rain is just going to counter-attack with the mutas. Um, just to take a little bit of pressure off of him, this is going to force Bunny to react. Um, that's quite a, quite a couple of mutas, not too bad. There, the gold base is up. That will bring in a load of minerals for Reyna. So if Bunny doesn't see that, it could become a problem soon. Meanwhile, Zergling and Banelings coming up this side. They are chasing the Marines all the way. Ooh, they actually get into the natural. Trying to get rid of the tank. There comes a bunch of Banelings. They're doing good damage there. Bunny is forced to retreat with his army. Ooh, those Mutas are taking a little bit of damage. Zerglings in, running into the main. They're going to get some damage done there. So only three worker kills. 
which is not terrible for Bunny, but that did mean that some of the pressure is a little bit off. Ooh, these Zerglings are actually getting some work done. Just two in the third and two in the uh, in the main. Ooh, nine workers killed. Yeah, okay, so I said that wasn't too bad, and then suddenly those last couple of uh, Zerglings doing a little bit of damage. The Muta's getting uh, hit a little bit hard there. Crane is going to be making a couple more of them. Meanwhile, he's got a lot of Banelings on the way. Plus two is almost finished, nine seconds away. That's going to be so helpful. I think Bunny saw that base at the bottom. The Banelings come rolling in. We're getting rid of a bunch here. Good splits, but there are so many Banelings. They're never ending. And this fight has gone, uh, I think, pretty well for Reyna. The Banelings rolling around again. Couple of good connections, but there are a bunch of Marines left and they're going to chase away those Mutalists. So, quite a good fight there. You know, initially I thought for Reyna, but uh, that actually ended up being very good for Bunny. You can see the difference in resources lost. Meanwhile, Bunny just closing down this gold base. He's saying, you will not have some of that. Getting rid of a bunch of those drones. There's 13 worker kills down. So, very good engagement there for Bunny. Rain is going to come in and try to defend this position. But there is the rest of the army coming around to help. Okay, he's still trying to clear a little bit of the creep on this section. He's got Thors coming in. Those Thors are going to help against the Mutalists. Just make sure that the Mutalists can't jump on that army. He's moving up a little bit, seeing what he can get done. Now, Rainer's creep is a little bit disconnected here, so... Bunny's been doing a pretty good job at just uh, getting rid of that creep. Just uh, making sure that the Zerg doesn't completely outgrow. The Queen's trying to defend a couple of Zerglings. Raiden doesn't want to get the Banings in too quickly, but a nice Ling run by. Ling's in this natural. Ooh, good lift up. He can't get into the main. I think the reinforcements are going to do fine, but that's 8 worker kills. Uh, Muta's at the same time. They're pushing the third. That's good amount of work he killed. So this is just trying to once again put pressure while relieving the pressure on his side. A couple of marauders here far forward. He's trying to get the bandings to connect with those marauders. It takes a bunch of bandings to kill a marauder. Um, so it's a nice way for him to kind of waste them. Again the army moving around. The muters up there. They're uh, just having a little bit of look what's going on. Thor getting lost in the third base. Obviously that Thor's just there just to watch for those muters. Bunny is going to take two medevacs up onto this base for Reyna. And there's nothing to defend there. Meanwhile Reyna is jumping on this. The turrets are being frantically repaired by the SCVs. But those muters have decent damage output. Army has to come defend from this side from Reyna. That is another base down. Although he does lose those units. Okay, so 8 SCVs, 9 SCVs, and 6 drones going down. These two players are really, they're hitting each other hard. Rainer is almost maxed out. Well, I mean, he was maxed out. Bunny is close to maxing out. And this engagement, here comes the Banelings. Ooh, those are some good Baneling connections. The supply dropping quite heavily there. Bunny is forced to pick up, and he is running for the heals. He's moving to his reinforcements and just pushing that army back. Reyna does not want to attack on the creep, but here we have a Zerkling run by again, getting rid of, rid of a bunch of SCVs. Getting rid of that Thor as well. That is a good catch. Thors are very expensive. This is actually causing a lot of problems. Bunny's had to turn his army around to deal with it. Reyna, in the meantime, he is pushing forwards. Muta's coming up to the top. They're going to attack this base again. Watch out for the Thor. That Thor's got splash damage. Okay, now Rain is getting adventurous. Ooh, those muters could pick up a cup. Nah, they're just gonna run away. Keeping the Terran busy, making sure that his attention stays focused on his base while Rainer um, works on his own economy a little bit more. And um, this work elite for Rainer, it's starting to show because Bunny is only on 155 supply. And um, yeah, he's struggling to, to get enough money in. More Zerglings coming into the third base here. And they're getting rid of some more workers. Reyna is just multitasking and he is doing damage. Making it hard for Bunny to 
kind of grow his army again. The Mute is doing good damage in the main base. These Zerglings still being very aggressive. These minerals have been mined out, so that is a nice, easy way for those Zerglings to get in. Four more workers going down on the side of Bunny. He is down to 37 workers. That is a small amount. Now, that being said, they do, Terrans do have mules, which uh, they're, they're pretty good. If we have a look at the income though, Brainer is pretty much doubling, well maybe not doubling, but you know, maths is hard. But he's he's got a lot more income than Bunny and uh, this is going to show over the, the next couple of minutes. Bunny's going to struggle to reinforce, although he is making more. He's got a lot of marines, marauders, couple of uh, liberators in production. Those meters are doing some good work. Nine SCVs again. They're just flying back and forth, just being annoying, keeping the Terran busy. Meanwhile, more Zerglings coming along. Bunny really needs to block up this hole. Get a couple of supply depots. Big Baneling and Zergling army there for Reyna. Meanwhile, once again, the Mutilus just coming in. Reyna is relentless with those Mutilus. Big fight here on the bottom side of the map. Liberators is setting up, trying to protect the Thors. The Banelings are running back, getting some good connections there. Uh, Bunny's army is all over the map though. He's pulling in to reinforce here. That was a good engagement for Bunny. There are a couple of burrowed Banelings over there. Is Reyna going to get... Oh, he misses it. Alright, setting up there. Work is going down. The Banelings are running into everything. Bunny splitting for his life. Those Banelings are just looking for Marines. And uh, they've gotten a lot of them. Picking up the Thor. Bunny's forced to pick up. He's going to try to push on the gold base again. More Zergling runbys coming in. That is very annoying. Uh, this is looking quite dire for Bunny. Look at the supply. He is on 98 supply. The Queen's coming out to help. They're going to try to push those Liberators out the way. Bunny is holding on for dear life. Bunch of Zerglings buried there. That's a cute little trick. And um, yeah, this is, this is looking like the beginning of the end for Bunny. He's on 25 workers. He does not have a big income. Rainer, meanwhile, he's comfortable. He's killing more workers. He's lost a bunch, but he's still sitting on 61, so uh, Rain is going to be quite happy with his position. He's getting a couple of Corruptors to deal with those Liberators. Meanwhile, it's just more Zergling, Baneling, um, with all of their upgrades. Rain, uh, Bunny, excuse me, pushing in again. So if we have a look at the upgrades, we're looking at plus 2, plus 2 for Rainer, plus 3 infantry versus armor, and... Here we go. Good engagement coming up here for Reyna. I think he should be okay. Those Banelings are hitting everything. Bunny is desperately splitting and he's doing a good job, but Reyna just has too much. Bunny's supply is dropping frantically. Um, yeah, those Corruptors are going to chase down the Medivacs. The Zerglings are in the main base. Bunny's third hasn't been able to go up, so he's got his first, or his main, his natural, and the fourth. Um... Here come the Corruptors, just to try to do a little bit of damage with that uh, beautiful ability of theirs. And um, Bunny's forced to pick up. He's finally dealing with the Zerglings in the main, but there's a bunch more ready. There's the GG. Reyna takes the game. Um, in what was quite an eventful one, Bunny looked really good halfway through, pushing in. But um, yeah, Reyna just having too much economy and too many things going on. Uh, well played there by them. If you have enjoyed this match, then uh, please uh, give a like rating to the video. I really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more games like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.